Everybody, welcome to the 20, uh, 2017 International Space Apps Challenge. Uh, woo! woo! <laughs> Clap, please. Thank you. Uh, my name is Joe Spenz. I'm the lead organizer of Space Apps NYC. Uh, we are a grassroots organization of over 2,000 people in the New York area that come together every year to participate in the Space Apps Challenge. Uh, this year, we are also a global main stage. Uh, I don't know if, how many of you have been here. Uh, we're here last uh, yesterday. We had a great boot camp and conference with astronauts and people from uh, NASA and, and uh, other uh, space organizations give a lot of great panel discussions and uh, keynote talks. Uh, if you want to check out any of those, they'll be on our uh, YouTube channel sometime this week. Uh, we'll also send out emails when we post those. Um, I want to give a quick thanks to all of our great sponsors. Uh, first, I got to give a shout out to NASA and Second Muse for organizing this event. Uh, we have over uh, 200 uh, we have over uh, 200 cities, 22,000 people across hundreds of cities uh, in one weekend, and that's not uh, a simple task to organize. Uh, so they did a great job, and we will also experience some of their uh, new uh, toys that they put out this year in terms of uh, chat applications and uh, team management. Uh, we'll give more info on that later, but that's all hosted on the Space Apps Challenge website. Um, I also want to thank our sponsors, uh, AWS, Clarify, Empire Space Labs, Kimi, uh, Radix for uh, sponsoring our live stream, Socrata, Twilio, Make School, and the Internet Society for uh, running our live stream both today and uh, yesterday for the conference and boot camp. Um, these sponsors uh, will also be over uh, on the side around the corner. Uh, please go chat them up and uh, they'll be here all weekend uh, to answer any questions and help you out. Uh, we can. We also have a uh, uh, Radix is also sponsoring um, dot space domain. So if you would like to host your projects after the hackathon on a uh, dot space URL, uh, we'll give out more information about that later. But uh, that's available to all participants. Uh, we also want to thank our sponsors, SAP NextGen, for this amazing venue here in Hudson Yards. Uh, if you can give them a round of applause, real quick, uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, They've done a great job, worked tirelessly uh, uh, all week to help us set up here. Uh, and we had a great conference and boot camp setting all this up. Uh, so we re really appreciate the, uh, the help. Uh, and we'd also like to uh, thank uh, Science Partnership Fund uh, for being our financial sponsors and uh, really helping us uh, get the sponsorship dollars in here to make this event really great. Um, so now I would like to introduce uh, someone on the organizing team from SAP. Uh, Akshata Pilar, uh, she manages the SAP NextGen program in both New York and Palo Alto. Thanks, Joe, and thank you everyone for coming. Um, it's great to see everyone here. And I'm sure many of you do know what SAP does. If you don't, you will Google it at some point. We're not, <laughs> and we're not as boring as it sounds. We are an ERP business. But SAP NextGen, the team I belong to, we do really interesting things. And this lab, this space that you see around you is one of them. We just opened on the 26th of April. So this is one of the first big events that we're doing. And we're very excited to partner with Joe and his team on the Space Apps Challenge. The idea behind the SAP NextGen program is to connect SAP, its customers, its ecosystem with people like you, people doing new things, people doing exciting things with new technology that a lot of companies out there actually have no idea about. So thank you for being here. We hope to have a lot of events just like this one, and we hope to see all of you here once again. So big round of applause for all of you. And well, have a great hackathon. Thank you, Akshata. Um, so just a quick background on the Space Apps Challenge for any of you who uh, are first year hackers. Uh, Space Apps Challenge, this is the sixth year running. Uh, started in 2012, it was a NASA uh, uh, innovation program uh, that, uh, whose mission was to engage with the outer community, uh, civil hackers if you will, uh, to come up with new innovative solutions to challenges in space exploration. Uh, and so for six years now, uh, we've been hosting, we and many other locations around the world hosting weekend hackathons where uh, in one 48 hour period, 
tens of thousands of people come together in multiple locations, uh, form teams, meet new people, and come up with ideas to solve these challenges posted by NASA in both uh, space exploration, low Earth, uh, uh, Earth observation, like this year's theme, uh, and many others. Uh, so it's really exciting. We're glad to have all of you here. Um, and Space Apps NYC is one of the uh, co one of the founding locations. We've been around since 2012. Uh, moved all around the city, and um, we, like I said before, we have about 2,000 people in our community grown over that six years, and we're growing even more. Uh, if you want to know more updates about what our, our organization is doing, uh, go to our website, sign up to our mailing list. Uh, we have a meetup group also. We're going to run some more events uh, throughout the year. If you didn't manage to come to the boot camp yesterday, we're going to have more uh, tech workshops with our sponsors, uh, meetups. We're going to do some more uh, space panels, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, we're also partnering with a lot of other organizations around the city like uh, Women's Sphere, Girls in Tech, the National Space Society. Got a little, lot of really great people coming in, so uh, keep an ear out for that. Uh, so today's schedule, I just want to give a quick rundown. Uh, we're going to get into API demo shortly from some of our sponsors. Uh, then I'm going to go over some uh, logistics about the weekend. Uh, we're going to break for team formation and hacking. And then uh, food, we're going to have lunch at about 12.30 and dinner at 6.30. Now, unfortunately, this year uh, we cannot provide overnight hacking. Uh, the venue closes at 8 p.m. So you guys are free to you know, hack all night. Go for it. Uh, you just can't do it here. Um, so tomorrow it reopens at eight, and we'll have uh, we'll have uh, breakfast. Uh, we're going to submit all projects before 1 p.m. So keep that in mind when you're uh, forming your teams and going through the project management. Uh, 1 p.m. is when you guys got to get everything in. Uh, so then we start presentations at two after we have lunch, uh, which are going to be live streamed. Uh, and we're going to have award ceremonies about 5 p.m. And that, that's a, uh, an estimate based on the number of teams that are going to do presentations. Uh, they're going to be about five-minute presentations, but we'll go over that more later. So uh, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to any one of us wearing these uh, teal green uh, T-shirts. We're all the organizers. Uh, so now I would like to uh, jump over to the API demos. Uh, first up is uh, AWS. Do we have the AWS sponsor here? No? Okay, they're coming later, I think, so we'll, uh, we'll grab them after.